Hello, my name is Victor Christensen and I'm the director of SecPoint.com. I'm here today to show the portable penetrator and the VPA2 cracking demonstration. Now I'm in the menu where the portable penetrator is scanning for wireless networks in the air. We can see it has discovered 81 networks and it keeps refreshing every 15 seconds for new networks. I now click on the stop scan and select network. We are only allowed to do the crack against our own network or a customer network if we have gotten the permission from the customer. In this case here my network is called Area 51 and I simply click on the MAC address and here I can see that one user is connected. Now in the next menu it tells me how it is doing the VPA2 cracking and actually what it is doing is that it's making a small denial of service attack against a connected user. Then when the user gets disconnected for a few seconds, it will automatically reconnect and in that process we will be sniffing the handshake. I can choose here which dictionary I want to use for the attack. In this case here I take the Danish dictionary with around 960,000 words. And then click on OK and now it launches the attack. When the user gets disconnected, it's typically for a few seconds so that the Windows computer or which computer it is that is connected will automatically reconnect without the user even, even knowing about it. And I, I now have the network here and we can see so far the sniffer is running, it's a VPA2 attack and it's on channel 4 and the password cracker is waiting. And then we can go up to refresh and depending on how fast the user we are doing the denial of service attack against is reconnecting, the faster we will get the handshake. The good thing about the interface here is that you see exactly what is going on. So you can see all the steps of the crack process and how far it is. And I go up and click on refresh here. And then we can see the sniffers waiting. If you want to crack a network where no users are connected, you can simply put it into the state of the sniffing process and leave it for a few hours until a user connects. And then you will grab the handshake where afterwards you can do the crack. And then I go up and click on refresh again here. And we can see the password cracker is still waiting. Now we can see some update here that the password cracker is actually running. So now the user reconnected and it automatically got the handshake. I can now go in and click on the password cracker and see how many cracks per second it is running with. Now we can see here it has cracked around 5,000 words and it's going with 175 to around 200 cracks per second. This is on the portable penetrator based on the Dell Mini 10V. And we can see here it's a very small netbook unit. And I just go up here and refresh it. On the larger models, we can go up to around 1200 cracks per second and on the very strong portable penetrators with a powerful GPU, it can do around 5000 to 7000 cracks per second. We can actually see now that it has discovered the password in this crack. The password was Düsseldorf and this is a known dictionary word, so that is a very weak password. Here we can see in the list, it discovered the password, we can see it right here, and then I can connect to the network and do a complete vulnerability scanning of all the IP address on the network. So for more information, please visit www.secpoint.com. Thank you.